It's October, and that means it's time for some pumpkin stuff. We're gonna do a keto-friendly pumpkin cheesecake, starting now. Hey everybody, how are ya? It's Aaron, welcome to AD Keto. This is the channel where we talk about all things ketogenic diet. We talk about some keto foods, we talk a little bit of keto science, and we do some keto recipes. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and do click that bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload new content. So recently I was perusing Instagram as I am wont to do and I came across a recipe from a user named How To Keto. And it basically was a recipe for a combination of two of my favorite things in the world, cheesecake and pumpkin pie. And it was a post that linked to a site called Keto Size Me. I got in touch with Shasta who runs that site and she said, yeah, go ahead, make a video. Put it out and I'll post it when you're done. So here we are making it. Uh, so before you even start thinking about making this recipe, know that it will take about 90 minutes to make, probably 10 to 15 minutes to prepare, but then it's gonna be an hour in the oven and then another half hour to cool before you put it in the fridge. So the first thing you wanna do is get 16 ounces of mascarpone cheese and a block of cream cheese and get it out of the refrigerator, put it on the counter, let it come up to room temperature. The very next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set your oven to 350 degrees. So this recipe is divided into two steps of preparation. First is the crust, second is the filling. So for the crust, you're gonna need one of these guys or something similar. If you have a glass pie plate or a porcelain pie plate, that works fine. I'm gonna use this cheapy pie tin that I got from the grocery store. So for the crust, you're gonna need a cup of coconut flour, four large eggs, some liquid stevia, or as my wife calls it, a little Stevie Wonder, a quarter cup of coconut oil. Uh, we're gonna have to melt this down so that it is in liquid form, and vanilla extract. What we're gonna do is combine these items in a mixing bowl and stir it, and that's gonna form our crust. First, let's just get this part out of the way and melt about a quarter cup of coconut oil. Get out of there. And we'll put this right in the microwave. So we've melted down our coconut oil. We got about a quarter of a cup. And because we add wet ingredients to dry, we're gonna start with our coconut flour. We need a cup. It's gonna go right into our mixing bowl. This bowl looks very red in the camera. It is very red. So there's about a cup. And now since we've already got our coconut oil melted down, we're just gonna add the rest of our uh, moist ingredients directly into the coconut oil and then we'll combine everything. So the first thing we're gonna add to our coconut oil is a teaspoon of liquid stevia. I picked this up on Amazon. It's a uh, sweet leaf liquid stevia. I'll put a link in the description. It's got a little dropper. It smells so good. Yeah, one more ought to do it. Next, we're gonna add some vanilla extract. Uh, the recipe calls for a tablespoon, but we are running pretty low on this. We'll see if we have a tablespoon to throw in. If not, we'll just throw in what we got. Yeah. We're a little short on the vanilla extract, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Dump it in there. Next, we're gonna do four eggs. Then let's whisk the whole thing up. Go for it, Caroline. You want to just drink that? No. Oh. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. Why don't we dump that into our our mixture here? This is going to be our crust. Okay. Okay, so here's our crust mixture. We're just gonna put this into our pie tin. That's gonna be a lot of crust, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna use a little bit of parchment paper to just kind of tamp this down and get it adhered to the sides of the pie tin. So this is our crust and it's gonna go into the oven, which is set to 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, while our crust is starting to, to bake, we can begin uh, working on the filling. If you don't have a mixer, you can just put these things together and whisk them all up. Uh, I'm going to use the bowl that comes with my KitchenAid mixer so it'll make things a little bit easier. You start by putting uh, three eggs into the mixing bowl. 
We're gonna give these a whisk uh, just to break up the yolks before we put them on the mixer and just break these up a little bit. To our egg mixture, we're going to add 16 ounces of mascarpone cheese. Uh, this is what 16 ounces looks like. So we're just gonna dump this entire thing in there, maybe. Protective seal. Oh yeah, oh, oh boy. Next, we're gonna add four ounces of cream cheese. This is an eight ounce bar, so half of this bar. And remember, this has been sitting out, uh, I've had it sitting out for about an hour now, so it's, um, it's at room temperature. I believe that makes a difference. If you put it in colder, your consistency is gonna be whack. Just like Martha Stewart used to say. Okay. Next, Caroline is gonna put in two teaspoons of liquid stevia. Let's call that one. All right, that'll do it. That sound means that our crust needs to come out. So it doesn't look too much different. It smells good. We're gonna leave the oven, um, turn off the timer. But we're gonna leave the oven at 350 because that's the same temperature at which we're going to um, bake our cheesecake. A few more ingredients uh, left to add to our mixture. One of them is a quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh, look at you. Good, dump that in there. We need two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Perfect. Oh, this smells so good. And dump. And our last ingredient before we mix this all up is 100% pure pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie filling, 100% pure pumpkin. A can is about 15 ounces and that is what this recipe calls for. So this entire can is going in. Old school. Sophie thinks she's getting fed. I might need a spoon to get this out of here. Oh, there it comes. All right, so here is our mixture. This is going to be our filling. We're gonna bring this right over to our mixer and put it on low. Lock her down and... Whoa! Boy, I don't know, Caroline, this looks like an awful lot of filling. <laughs> so here's our mixture. It's time to put it into the, uh, into the crust. Okay. Looks very chunky. There are some bits of mascarpone cheese that did not get fully incorporated. Yeah, incorporated, but I think that's gonna be fine. You know what? If we overflow, we overflow. Okay, so we have a heaping pumpkin pie cheesecake ready to go in. I'm a little concerned that we're heaping at this point and any rising that happens is going to spill over the sides, but you know what? There are worse things that could happen. So let's put it in. This goes in for an hour. All right, so I will check back in an hour, at which point we will turn off the heat, open up the door to the oven, let it sit for another half hour before we put it in the fridge overnight. We're gonna eat this thing tomorrow. All right, so it's been an hour. Uh, I'm just gonna crack open the oven here, turn it off, and let it gradually cool down. After about a half an hour, we're gonna throw it in the fridge. Oh my God. Oh, hey buddy. How you doing? So this looks and smells fantastic, but it's still pretty warm. So I'm gonna leave it on this, what would you call this? Cooling rack. It's a muffin tin upside down. Because I couldn't... AD Keto couldn't find the cooling rack. I couldn't rack. be bothered to find the cooling rack. Put it in the fridge uh, before I go to bed. I'll have it tomorrow night. Okay, so it's the next day and the pumpkin pie has been in the refrigerator for about 24 hours and I could not be more excited. Here it is. Look at that thing! That looks absolutely delicious. The original recipe 
on Keto Size Me said that the pie made 14 pieces, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to slice a pie into 14 pieces. So I redid the math a little bit, and I'm gonna make eight pieces. So the macros that I flash up on the screen right here next to me are going to represent um, one eighth of this pie. So let us dig in. Oh man, it's so thick. It's gonna be so good. You cut through the pie tin. Did I? Yeah. Oh <gasps> my gosh. That looks amazing. This has about about a serving of heavy whipped cream on top, which will probably add like maybe a carb, but um, this is looking fantastic. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Please do check out Keto Size Me, the website and blog. A lot of good stuff over there. So that'll do it for now. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good.